I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we thank God for this, um, for His grace in 2024, and His plan to keep us holy as He is holy. Can we bow our heads and pray and invite the Holy Spirit to continue to dwell in us, uh, in our hearts? You are great, mighty God. We thank you for this moment, Lord, where we bow down in our knees and seek your faith, your face, and seek your word that is our light. We are trusting you, Lord, for each and every step that we are taking to become holy because you are holy. You have given us the Holy Spirit to lead us. May that Holy Spirit dwell in our hearts. May it continue to enlighten us. May it continue to shape us and mold us to whatever you, Lord, that you want us to be. May it continue to align us to whatever you have planned and purpose for our lives in 2024. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, we thank God for this moment and um, the foundation has been laid uh, by our previous speakers uh, where we, we are asked to revisit our areas of concern uh, in our Christian walk and in our lives. Uh, Today we are going to look at being led by the Holy Spirit. This is the topic that each one of us can look at it. Am I being led by the Holy Spirit? When I'm praying, when I'm worshipping, when I'm fellowshipping, am I led by the Holy Spirit? I have scenarios here where I identified the leading of the Holy Spirit. The scripture is from Luke 8, uh, verse 43 to 44. The woman with an issue of blood, she was suffering for 12 years. If you count that 12 years in terms of days, um, I cannot even continue to understand how she had survived. But I looked at her faith. Her faith was very strong. But it shows that we cannot do anything on our own. Uh, because if she was doing it on her own, she could have, you know, given up along the way because her condition didn't allow her to be amongst the people, but she continued. Her faith made her strong because imagine someone having to lose blood every day and that blood that she was losing was making her weak. But our God says, when we are weak, but when we go to God, he makes us strong. I saw this woman as someone who was led by the Holy Spirit to sustain her faith so that even other people, because once we are holy, the Holy Spirit that, is, that dwells in us will also manifest to other people and that they will see this God and want to have the same God that made us so strong, that made us endure this pain. So I see this woman depending on God for her survival. The plan that she had, no one could have maybe told her that this is the way that could help you. But she trusted God, that God will help him, help her, and that God will guide her on how to do it. So that's the purpose of the Holy Spirit in our lives. He guides us. As long as we trust him, 
He guides us and leads us to whatever is just according to God's will. So I see this woman portraying the understanding of being led by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is important to us. Maybe she heard what Jesus was saying when he healed other people and he trusted in his word that he was saying to those people and he said one day will come that day came and God said to him with your faith you are healed I don't know if Jesus knew that she has been suffering for 12 years but all that didn't matter at this time. She had to follow the Holy Spirit. She had to be led by the Holy Spirit to touch that hem of his garment. And suddenly she received her healing. We learned that the holiness is the work of the Holy Spirit. If we want to do things on our own, we, we will never achieve an, anything. But we are also seeing in Proverbs 3, from verse 5 to 6, God says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. I see this woman trusting in the Lord with all her heart, day in and day out. Maybe she was practicing what God has taught us, that we must pray in all seasons. We must pray without ceasing. I see her praying that God remember me. God, remember me. You have promises. You have promised me as well that you'll never leave me nor forsake me. You have promised me that you'll guide me. When, when you call me, when you called me, you have promised that when you called us, you are going to teach us. You are going to guide us. I see that woman trusting in the Lord, believing in the Lord, knowing that one day God will heal me. So we need saints to allow God to lead us. Thank you so much. Can we pray and thank God? Father God, we thank you for your unconditional love, for saving our souls, for transforming our minds. We have learned from this woman to keep our faith to allow the Holy Spirit to shape us and mold us. We are trusting you, Lord, that as we journey through this restoration of our lives, asking you to bring us back to the holiness, because when we received you, Lord, we surrendered everything unto you, but we have become more anxious and for God to pray and trusting in you. Holy Spirit, we love you. Holy Spirit, guide us and shape us to whatever is your will. Give us the heart of worship in everything that we are doing. Give us the love that you gave us, that you sacrificed for us. Because you, when Jesus was sacrificed for us, it's because you wanted us to also follow suit. In our walk, we need to remember that we are not in our own making. You made us in your image and you expect us to follow you. You expect to follow Jesus Christ who was brought to us as the light of the world. So having this light of your word. Let it rekindle our altars. Let it shine everywhere we go as you are making our face shine at all times. We are trusting you, Lord. Increase our dependence on you. Increase our faith. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen.